you do a hat thing anyway. Even though I'm in the you know the bathroom. It's called the bathroom. It's kind of interesting bathroom. You know, all over the world, well, at least in Africa, when you wrap a towel around yourself, a wrap a cloth around you, you know what I mean. It always goes. At least the men, it goes like this. You know, you got to do it like that. The women go the other way. So if you're ever traveling, make sure you wrap the cloth right. Else, elsewise, well, elsewise. Oh, uh, this is a, this is not my rope. This is from uh, hey, it's from Harris Reno, my best friend who's a house on that right now. He's in he's in I think Mexico, learning how to speak Spanish. I don't know some weird thing. Anyway, some sort of house hitting it. It sort of coincides somehow. It all worked out. But you know he when I met him, he was going to Princeton. That's where I met him. We did this. With we had a program together, blah, 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 blah. And he graduated, uh, you know, Columbia Law and did something else, whatever he did, you know. And uh, so he's upper, he's boomer, plus he's upper, whatever, whatever, whatever. He was one at the time, he was one of the only five casino lawyers, lawyers that they did the casino kind of things, in the world. I will say it's five casino, I mean five black casino lawyers, so there you go. But he has all my stuff here, because... JB's a pack rat. I mean, he's like my sister, man. They just keep everything. I'm so glad, but the problem is I can't find my writings, my plays. That's what I'm looking for. I'm desperately looking for them. Supposed, one's supposed to be produced at King College. But I did find this book from Zan Wilson Cartier. Zan Wilson Cartier, this novel that, uh, because when I was an uh, arts director, and before I was arts director, this is, she has to, 1988, no, I mean, I was an arts director then. I was just in a, the arts department, you know, we would read books, and, uh, you know, if the author comes up, we would, you know, we'd, we'd interview them, you know. So I spent some time with, with Zam. She, she autographed this book for me. I don't really do autograph, but she, here's what she wrote. For Anthony Sloan, who keeps us all on fast forward. I'm sorry. For Anthony Sloan, who keeps us all in fast forward. Best Zam, uh, 43088. So I guess it's uh, April 30th, 1988. But this is interesting. And this one, who keeps us all in fast forward. Interesting. It's actually true. So Zam is Zam is Zam, you know. And the last I heard she was teaching someplace. But I really like her writing. It's like the Ishmael Reed's kind of Ishmael Reed school of, of writing, if you wanna put it that way. Now get this book. It's a great book, by the way. Reba Reba by Zam Wilson Cotier. Uh oh, what's what I'm doing here right now? Before I put these glasses on, let me I got a new juice. Not a new juice, it's or Trady Joe's uh, organic carrot turmeric. Uh oh. I think I'm trying to open this up, but I better be careful because you know turmeric and a carrot on white. Woo boy. But then it get, no, I don't want to get into that. So let me be very, very careful and pour it out over here. I would do that, don't worry about that. I'm just tasting it. I love turmeric, by the way. Learned about that in India. Let's see how it tastes. Carrot and turmeric. This classic Ashu's extra character. Turmeric has long been valued. Its unique taste and versatility, and its inclusion in our organic carrot turmeric. Blah 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 blah. blah. And it says ingredients: organic carrot juice, organic black pepper. Oh, by the way, turmeric and turmeric. Turmeric and black pepper go together rather well. They sort of activate each other somehow. Uh, organic lemon juice, organic turmeric powder, gar something silk chili powder. Ooh, this may be hot. Let me, if it's going to be hot, let me put on. <laughs> so to taste, this, gonna, this case, I have to tea or something like that. Shall we taste it? We shall. Tastes like carrot juice to me. Tastes like carrot juice. Ooh, I just, ooh, there's a little pepper there. Um, so anyway, I'm, 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 I'm meandering, but um, I had an interesting time, especially last night. I got some inspiration. And so I wrote, um, just a second, I wrote, get my notes here. A quonsaba. Quonsaba. I'll explain that to you some of it's, it's derived from uh, from the stuff from, um, what's that boy, um, Ron Karanga. Oh, yes, I know, Ron Karanga. I don't like him either. It's like a, people been jumping on, not jumping on, but Reza, is, uh, Reza Islam is new, well, new, of course, it's quite a stir in the, in, the, in the community. And, you know, but he's a disciple of, uh, of uh, 
Farrakhan. I'm not into Farrakhan either, you know, so we have we have things. But but look, hey, so Eugene Redman started the Kutsaba thing, so I'm not going to blame Eugene, even though it comes from you know, the, the idea that I did, but the language comes from from uh, Karanga. I'm not going to blame Eugene because Eugene's a great poet and he created this form. The Kutsaba is a seven, seven, seven syllables and seven, and seven uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, it's seven lines and well, it's four. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll explain to you later. Anyway, so uh, so I don't blame him for that. So I don't. It's not his disciples that I'm. Um, okay, I can't. You, you you may understand what I'm getting at. Anyway, so I wrote this thing, and I'm not going to read it to you now. I'll just say it's the. Let me take this off so I can read. Um, but the title is called. Uh, remember, I put this title as seven as seven syllables. You know, seven words. One, two, three, five, six. It was only six words, seven syllables, whatever. Um, an elder's sight in our fight. An elder's sight in our fight. So I guess it's supposed to be seven words and seven syllables. We'll figure it out. You know, I'll, I'll look again. But anyway, so we have we have the the first skeleton of the the Quetzalba that I'm that I'm creating for uh, this ADUS whatever this experience here, and um, so it's the first first draft. And like with everything, you know, it's just the first draft. We'll see what happens. And just like these these folks, like we say, you know, I'm not going to blame, you know, disciples for for the sins of the of the creators of the progenitors, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, that we're on the move, we're working. Um, my watch is being done. <laughs> That's one of the way it is. And um, you know, we'll see you soon. Um, because I, I can't post every day because of certain things I don't, I don't have access to. I, I don't know. So we'll see how how this works out. Okay? Okay. I just wanted to let you know. I being me. T from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed. Letting you know what I only suspect from a desk. Or a situation. A reality. Of the A-D-O-S. That would be the American and North American descendants of chattel slavery.